So what up guys? Um I've got some some big news for you guys today, you know what I mean? This is something that something that I've been hiding from pretty much everybody, you know. This is something that I, I like I had to go up with. Part of the reason why I hid it from everyone is because I just I wanted to leave that that part of my life like in in the past i came i came to a point where i was like you know what i i finally like accept myself for, for who i am how i am and and all my imperfections you know what i mean but it wasn't easy but i, I finally got to that stage and, and i want to show you guys something yeah. i didn't even tell my friends about this shit till till i was like a month ago I don't know about it. Yeah, he, he, Nani still doesn't know about it. I told Teddy and him about it about a month ago in Australia. My girl's only seen it for like a year now. I only showed this to her like a year ago. I don't know, man. I just didn't want to deal with like people giving me their opinions about it, people talking about it, staring, teasing me, whatever. But now I'm like, I've gone to a point where I just, I don't give a fuck about none of that stuff. And I see the bigger picture, like, you know, the bigger picture is I'm not the only one that that's different, you know? I'm not the only one that's been teased as a kid, picked on millions of us. That shit did hurt me as a kid. I would cry sometimes, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's like my chance to like, kind of like show you guys that I'm human too, you know what I mean? I've been through that shit too. I look where I am today. So if you you just don't mind, don't mind the people that bully you. Accept yourself. Love yourself. Be you. You're uniquely you. God made you like that. Whether you think it's imperfect or not, you are perfect. That's how God made you. That's how you're supposed to be. You know? Love yourself. Be you. Be. Do you. So here it goes. I'm a little nervous. I won't lie. There you go, right there. Our special toe. <laughs> you need to get down his face. <laughs> you gotta get down his face. So obviously you were born with this? Say your piece, man. Yeah, 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 man. Something I was born with, you know? But... <laughs> I like f fortunately and also like partly unfortunately I was able to hide it from like a lot of people um because it's just it's just putting on a sock or a shoe and I could hide it from a lot of people like I didn't have to deal with like all the teasing and shit people laughing at me and all that shit I left that in the past so that's that's what was fortunate about it and it was unfortunate because it was like I didn't accept myself. I didn't love myself 100%. I was expecting people to, I don't know, give me some sort of validation or whatever. And and I, I didn't even accept myself or love myself enough or completely, you know? I thought about it for, for so long and it was like, I was so scared to to come out, you know, even though Even though I felt like I could deal with like, like people's comments and shit, I was I was still like scared to come out, man. For some reason, I don't know. I just thought it would affect so much, like even you know, like in terms of like, just the way people look at me. But then I just realized that I'm way beyond that now. Right. My childhood friends know. My childhood friends been know about this. Like, oh, I'm doing, but the yeah, the kids from my neighborhood, everyone knew about this. Shout out to them also for not like going out there and telling people that I'm like this and actually being patient with me and waiting for me to to be ready to tell people and show people, you know? Shout out to them. That matters also, you know? They could have done anything or said anything out of spite. They didn't. But I, I just realized that I was just, I was just procrastinating. I was just, I was scared. I was just pushing it back. So now I was just saying, fuck it. Let me face the one fear that I really had 
throughout my entire life. When I was, I think about 15, 16, um, Misa, my sister Misa was at home in Durban. And I told her that I want to make so much money as a rapper that I'm going to eventually be able to afford an operation and I was going to get this shit fixed. And then she told me, she was like, you say you love your mother Ivy so much and you wish that you could at least have like one memory with her or remember one thing about her, but yet you want to get rid of the one thing that she left you, the one thing that connects you to her. You know, these, these are her genes. Whatever I might think or what people might think went wrong, that was her genes. Nobody said it was wrong. It's just, that's just the way it happened. Like when I finally had enough money to, to get it fixed, I didn't, I didn't even think about getting it fixed. I was like, no, I'm just gonna wait till I'm ready. You know what I mean? So on the beach, do you ever walk bare feet? Where? In the beach? Yeah. No, you've never seen me. I've never seen you. I'm exactly. thinking about it. I've never seen you. Yeah, well, exactly. I was hiding. You would have never seen it. Not even if we're like at a shoot and I have to change. I, I always go in the car. Even if it's just shoes, I always go in the car. I do. How many years have you known me now? You've never seen my I've feet. I've never ever. seen your feet ever. Yeah, exactly. If you got something that you're hiding from people because you're scared, you might be judged, picked on, left at, you know. I understand what it's like, you know? And it's okay to be afraid too. And I'm not saying that you should just come out now and just show the world what you're about. That would be dope in the ideal world. In a perfect world, it would be easy to do that, but this is not it. So take your time, you know, be patient with yourself, learn to love yourself, learn to accept yourself for who you are. And when you're ready, show the world why you are you. This is gonna be some legendary sh sometime down the line, like 50 years down the line. It's gonna be a big ass company with a big toe. And <laughs> 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 a fucking logo. I'm telling you, oh God. Congratulations, bro. Congratulations. For coming up. Oh, yeah, I guess. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. You did. You will be seeing me at the beach now. <laughs> I'm not hiding any more f that. Yes. And as I would say, cut. No, they don't do that cut, do they? Mm -hmm. No, fuck that cut. It's a wrap!